Welcome back to the video blog after a little bit of a hiatus. Uh, I hope everyone has been having an eventful summer. I'll be posting a lot in the near future here uh, about our church's big journey together that we're getting ready to start called The Story. And uh, you should have gotten a sneak peek of that in the last video. Um, we'll be starting that as a full church curriculum really soon and you'll be hearing a lot about that here. Uh, but first I want to talk about a Pixar movie and a commencement address. Uh, most people I know would agree that the Pixar company has been putting out some of the best films in the past few decades. Uh, my personal favorites are the three Toy Story movies. Uh, but I want to talk today about The Incredibles, which I'm confident you are familiar with. Hopefully you can see that. Um, the Incredibles is a Pixar movie about a family of superheroes. And in The Incredibles, there's a theme uh, that comes and goes through the movie about whether or not we are special and what makes us special. Uh, the dad and mom have this great scene early in the movie where the dad is frustrated because uh, kids are getting recognized whether they've actually achieved anything or not. He doesn't want to go to his son's graduation ceremony uh, because it's really just uh, going from the fourth grade to the fifth grade. And he says they keep creating new ways to celebrate mediocrity uh, rather than waiting to acknowledge when someone actually is genuinely exceptional. Uh, in a different scene, their son Dash is frustrated. Dash's superpower is being really, really fast, hence his name Dash. Uh, but his mom doesn't want him to use his powers to beat the other kids in races. She wants him just to be like everyone else. Uh, Dash says, but mom, our powers make us special. His mom says, everyone is special, Dash. To which Dash replies, that's another way of saying that no one is special. David McCullough Jr. made headlines at the beginning of the summer for a graduation speech that he gave at Wellesley High School in Massachusetts. I encourage you to find the whole speech if you can. Uh, they have it available on YouTube. It's about 12 to 15 minutes, I think, uh, because my few quotes here aren't going to do it justice. But McCullough is an English teacher at this high school, and he stands up boldly before the graduating class, their family members, and his fellow faculty members, and he says to them, none of you is special. You are not special. You are not exceptional. Now, can you imagine the looks on the faces of the crowd when he says this in his graduation speech? Uh, not something we usually expect to hear at graduation. But he went on to explain himself by saying this, Across the country, no fewer than 3.2 million seniors are graduating about now from more than 37,000 high schools. That's 37,000 valedictorians, 37,000 class presidents, 340,000 swaggering jocks. Then he added, even if you are one in a million on a planet of 6.8 billion, that means there are nearly 7,000 people just like you. And consider for a moment the bigger picture, he says. Your planet, I'll remind you, is not the center of its solar system. Your solar system is not the center of its galaxy. Your galaxy is not the center of its universe. In fact, astrophysicists assure us the universe has no center, therefore you cannot be it. To clarify his point, he continued with the words that seem very similar to uh, what I quoted from The Incredibles. He says, you see, if everyone is special, then no one is. If everyone gets a trophy, trophies become meaningless. We Americans, to our detriment, have of late come to love accolades more than genuine achievement. No longer is it how you play the game, no longer is it even whether you win or lose, or learn to grow or enjoy yourself doing it. Now it's, so what does this get me? As a consequence, we cheapen worthy endeavors, and building a Guatemalan medical clinic becomes more about our college applications than the well-being of Guatemalans. So the final minutes of this speech are some of the most compelling words of encouragement that I've heard in a long time. He urges the students to make for themselves extraordinary lives, to seek out the fulfilling life, the distinctive life, the relevant life, emphasizing that it's their action, 
their action, not the action of anyone else, that will lead to this achievement. He wraps up the speech by saying, the sweetest joys of life come only with the recognition that you're not special because everyone is. Now that I'm a parent, I'm learning more and more about the temptation to over praise or to over recognize what my kid does. But with Addie, we've also had to teach her from the start that the point of a game is not to win, but to have fun playing. It's always tempting for adults like myself to throw the game so that their kid ends up winning and feeling the best they can about themselves. But when we saw the way Addie would behave when she didn't win, we knew that we had to make sure she learned how to be a good sport, especially when she lost. The Bible does a good job of walking that fine line between pride and humility. We're told that none of us are special, that we've all sinned and fallen short of God's glory. That in Christ there is a level playing field, neither Jew nor Gentile, male nor female, slave nor free. But then again, we're also assured that Christ died because of God's love for the whole world, everyone whoever was, is, or will be. And to top it off, this was done while we were still sinners. We do not deserve the grace of God, but it is freely given to us anyway through Christ. Because none of us are special, we are all special. May we all be thankful for this exceptional love and grace that God has given us, that His perfection reaches out to make something beautiful out of our imperfection. As the church, may we build each other up not with silly awards that celebrate mediocrity, but with togetherness, community, and understanding that enables us to truly make something extraordinary out of our lives, individually and collectively. See you next time.